Lord, about the delay in the rapture, does this affect the looming chance of war? Jesus began, Understand, beloved, without serious messages, prayers would not be offered in such profusion as to turn the tide. That is why I have made it very clear to you that we were on the verge of war, which we have been and may still be. Tell them to continue to pray for the complete overthrow of evil, that corruption that has been deeply disguised would be brought to the light and prosecuted. We are winning, Claire, but there are so many who are indoctrinated with lies that a major re-education program will be necessary to inform people, especially the young, and it is coming. What about war? Jesus said, if things continue to progress in this positive way, it will be delayed. The issue coming up is a mixture of New Age spirituality with scripture, under the guise of greater liberty and peace, for many things will be presented along with the good. That includes demon aliens, homosexuality, and sex changes. As the public is educated in these things, they can be overruled rather than being condoned and promoted. Because your president has chosen to uphold what is written in the scriptures and put an end to trafficking and immorality, he was given more time. And the prayers of the people, even those of other countries, have been responsible for turning the tide. I have told you from the beginning that there was hope even when the darkness was at its thickest, the light of prayer has burned so much of it down. It is just now becoming apparent that the climate truly is changing. There is still much corruption in the military, but that too is going to have its day of reckoning. Continue your prayers, my brides, and continue to rout sin from your lives. The whole world has been caught in this web of iniquity and many countries are fighting for their lives because they have recognized what has been really going on. Militaries are powerful. Guns, bombs, lasers, all are powerful. But their power does not compare to your prayers. When you pray, I go in with my angels and expose corruption, bringing it into the light and raising up those with a good heart. Nothing in this world does as thorough a cleansing as my angels on assignment. When you pray, more cleansing warrior angels are released into the world where they are most needed. There are still strongholds of darkness in the world that can attack the good that is being done. That is why the whole world must continue to pray. Believe me, there is still plenty of fight left to completely overthrow the pockets of darkness. There are layers and layers of them. Some mature with many recruits added only in the past few years. This is why re-educating the youth is going to have a high priority. So much of their thought processes is controlled by the media since childhood deliberately programming them to choose evil, violence, and sexual perversion under the guise of good. Yes, these times are truly upon us, where good is denounced and evil is applauded. It is a dirty mess, but prayer will avail much in exposing and eradicating evil. Many will change their tune when they see there are consequences to operating in the dark to destroy the rights of the people and the republic. No mule imagined they could be hung for their part in stuffing ballot boxes. They were thinking, a quick way to make a buck, not a quick way to end up in a hangman's noose. My people, if any of you or your friends and relatives have been involved in overthrowing the government, warn them. They will be arrested and tried as traitors. And for the rest of you who are innocent, pray, pray, pray. 
I will hear these prayers first. They have priority. Now it's the end of his message. God bless you, heart dwellers. Know that things are looking up, but not to the point where we can get lax on prayer. God bless you.